I'm Deborah with Blackbird Realty, and today's topic is what to consider when your rent has been raised. Oh, your landlord has just informed you that your rent will increase at the end of the lease by $50. What do you do now? Your first reaction may be anger, frustration, or wondering how you can afford the increase. You're currently paying $11.50 and your rent is increasing by $50 per month. This will cost you $600 more per year. You may feel you are paying too much rent. No improvements have been made to the property that warrants the increase. You decide to look around for another home and find one in the neighborhood that is $100 cheaper. So 15 days later, you give notice and move. You're feeling great because you think you're saving $1,200 a year. But even under the best circumstances, there will be moving expenses. If you leave your property in great condition, you will not get your security deposit back until after you move and can wait up to 30 days. Any damages that are not normal wear can be charged to your deposit. An example of other moving costs are $100 application fees at the new rental, $150 in truck rental expenses, $200 in time off from work to move, $85 in pizza and drink expenses for the friends that will help you move, $75 in charges from utilities, $500 decorating expenses now that IKEA has opened. There are no doubt expenses that we have missed and some of the above expenses may not apply. Of course, it is your decision to move. We ask that you should consider how happy you are where you live, how well the management company responds to requests, how easily you can pay the rent, how often the rents are raised, the next property may be managed by a different management company or the owner and may not offer as many services or options that you're now receiving through Blackbird Realty. Thank you for watching and feel free to contact us with any questions or concerns. Our information is in the footer below.